So in the studio, I've got this set up here. Now, I've got my switcher for my four cameras. Camera number one, which is the front angle. Camera number two, close up of my hands. Camera number three, which is what I like to call the GoPro view, down the neck of the guitar. Camera number four, you can see what I'm doing. My pedal board's down here on the floor. When I'm not using it, I slide it back under. It's tucked away. And my amp is right around the corner. Okay? So, when I plug in and I use a wireless unit, uh, X-Vive, V-I-V-E, uh, I love this. <laughs> I really do. Tiny little footprint. Uh, the receiver is the same size. And uh, USB power. I really was surprised at how much I like this. So I go into the preamp section all the way up to my amplifier, my speaker simulator, dummy load speaker simulator, and back into my rig. And from there, let's take a look. When I come back into the rig, I go into my volume. And for my volume, I go into the eventide next to the sunset. And I have that dedicated for um, any kind of harmonizer. I do have a fifth below that I will use some, sometimes, rarely. But it's really a dissonant sound. I, I love it. It's, um, I use it in a song that I wrote called Sisters Got a Problem. Uh, but for the most part, I have it set on an octave. <laughs> it is without the octave. There it is with the octave. Now, um, after the octave, that's when I run into my delays because the octave unit, it is, it, it really impacts the sound. And so I want to keep that pure tone um, hitting that octave box because I tried every octave box on the market and short of the, the Oh, who makes it the big red pedal with the, uh, it's a whammy. That's, that's what it's called. It takes up too much real estate. Those things sound amazing, but it's just too big for my pedal board. I couldn't fit it on. So of the pedals that I can just turn on and off, this even tide, it tracks a lot of the, um, the um, octave boxes they they don't track well and they'll get this warble when you turn it on it's just really weird sounding this tracks really really well so i love it all right from there then i go into my delay um the first one and i'll turn off my octave <laughs> That's my signature delay sound. Uh, then the one on the far right of the three buttons, uh, the very far right is the tap. This is my ping pong delay. And that's very extreme and it goes on. Now I've got the spill set on, the on position. I just turned both of the delays off, so what that means is that de the delay continues to go. If the spill is not on, the second you turn off that delay or switch to a different one of the delays, it would cut off the delay that was happening. 
it would choke it out. And then in the middle, I have a long delay with uh, some flange on it. Here it is with the delay number one, my signature sound, the fatten it up a bit. And then all three. Now, I'm going to uh, use my volume. I'll turn on my octave. Mm -hmm. 